He is a beetle with a hearty appetite for ash trees, causing some big problems now in Buffalo's biggest park. And now there are calls for the federal government to step in and help out. The pest is called the emerald ash borer. It is a growing threat to trees here in our region. It's been here for years, but the problem is getting worse. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore has more now on what's being done to remedy the situation. You can kind of see when you're cutting and you just get into the light colored wood. He's not cutting down this tree, instead he's girdling it. It's a process that could save thousands of ash trees in Delaware Park from being killed by these beetles. You're wounding the tree in the springtime and all season long it sends out chemicals that attract adult emerald ash borers. So the adults lay their eggs on this tree and then come wintertime we'll remove this tree and get rid of all those eggs. This is just one way forestry yeah, manager are. Mark Brand tries to keep emerald ash borers from spreading in Buffalo's largest park. But they are rapidly killing thousands of ash trees across western New York. We remove some trees, we girdle trees, and we treat some trees. Emerald ash borers create these maize designs in trees known as larvae. They prevent nutrients from traveling from the roots to the top. This is just one of 50 million trees across the country that's affected. One adult can lay up to 100 eggs and given the infestation level on some of these trees, I would easily say there's thousands of larvae in some of these trees. The Forest Service is basically robbing Peter to pay Paul. Senator Chuck Schumer says the U.S. forestry has federal money earmarked to battle the invasive beetles. It's now being redirected to help cover wildfire expenses out west. And that's because of budgetary constraints. It's not able to request additional disaster funds the way, say, FEMA does. The senator is now proposing a bill that could send millions of dollars to help stop this growing problem here in western New York. Uh, this should be something that I think will pass, and I'm going to, using the, whatever cloud I have in the Senate, do my best to get it in the upcoming appropriations bill in the next few weeks. Now, ash trees are typically used for firewood and Louisville sluggers. Now, according to the senator, a baseball bat maker in Utica, New York, had to stop using ash wood to make bats because of this problem. In the newsroom, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News. All right. Thank